Euzubillahimineşşeytanirracim, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Atiyallah, atiyya Rasulü olul amri minkum and always a reminder for myself and abdukul ajis, a daifu, miskinu, zalimu, jahal and but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. Our way is to be nothing and to empty our cup of ourself and Allah's rahmah and mercy to fill from the love and the ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad that this concept of deceit, we don't have anything to do with Christ and Antichrist, we have to do with deception. And everything around us is an immense, <coughs> immense deception. Whatever you think you know is not true incorrect and there's such a, a veil of immense ignorance upon the earth in just even the dunya and its history that something can't perceive that it's such a case. And this deception that comes and this means of deception that comes will align itself with this Wahhabi ideology, satanic ideology in which it comes because remember it's from the madhab of shaitan. This deception is coming from his progeny in which shaitan loves Allah. He has nothing against with Allah, He's, I'm not bowing down to Adam. So if we don't understand the key, we don't understand what's happening. He has absolutely loves Allah. But Allah said, bow down, that your worshipness, whatever you did for me, I want to show the angels it was from arrogance, bow down to one whom alam isma kullaha, I had given all the knowledges, isma kullaha into the reality of Sayyidina Adam alayhi salam. Only Allah come and explain that that was Nur Muhammad because Prophet described, I am a Rasul before Adam was created between his clay and water. The station of Rasulullah is ancient, ancient reality. And that lie. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allah took from the light of Nur Muhammad and sent into the reality of Sayyidina Adam salam, which is a form, is a vehicle. And the one whom taught him the names is from where? It's from the reality of Prophet The knowledge is coming and that light coming is from the lights of Sayyidina Muhammad And Allah want all of creation when that light is appearing before you, bow down in ihtiram. Right? He did the same for Sayyidina Yusuf salam. when he told Yaqub, bow down to this knowledge that Sayyidina Yusuf has salam, the station that you achieved as soon as Sayyidina Yaqub met his son and said, you achieved the station, this journey that you have, that you told me your dream, that the sun and the moon and eleven planets would be under your feet. He realized when he saw his son at that station after all those years of being missing, he came and, and Allah describes in Qur'an, he came and 
kissed his feet and bowed down to him. That Allah giving another example of respect to the eminence and the station of its realities. When Allah wanted to reveal these knowledges and these lights in the company of those whom were in that company said, bow down to this as a respect, malaika and angels immediately bowed down. They knew this light is of a Divinely nature, it's not a regular light coming. But Satan said, no, not going to bow, cast him out. So if we don't understand that he's not going to bow to that light, he's not going to have anything to do with Sayyidina Adam's form or his progeny and that his madhab and his belief is that he only deals with Allah And Allah wanted to show the angels that he's arrogant and his religion is arrogant and it's not based on humility and it's definitely not based on La ilaha illallah, it's not complete without Muhammad Rasulullah If we don't know that, that is our key, that is our reality, that is everything that we will be struggling for on this earth. Everything on this earth now is to take Muhammad Rasulullah away and just say, La ilaha illallah. Everything. Why you have to have any symbol of Muhammadun Rasulullah right? Take your turban off, take your beard off, take anything that identifies you with the sunnah and the way of Sayyidina Muhammad Why? Because this satanic madhab is moving on this earth and it's in everything. You'll find it everywhere but we talk only for ourselves and our families. That's all that has to be worried about. Everyone can worry about themselves but the guides of the Muhammadan nation, they're not being deceived, they understand. They understand the, the belief system of shaitan and he's going to implement. Don't think he's coming with horns and say, I'm going to make a nasty video, everybody's going to follow me. He's going to come and say, no I believe in God, all this other stuff leave it alone. But our key to Allah what we were reciting is what Allah defined our nation is that you are the people of La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah Don't ever leave that. And a deception comes onto this earth and will come in a nice form. Now make friends with those people over there and tell them, yeah, promote the, the La ilaha part, stop the Muhammadan Rasulullah part and we got no problem with you. And they push that around the world in which Prophet described holding your deen would be like a hot coal. We think we got there yet? Or no, you, you can witness it on this TikTok because as soon as you make salawats, what happens? The snakes are coming out, stop it, stop it. Huh? This is just a sign that when they make their allegiance and they make all their agreements, they're going to come and say, no we're with La ilaha illallah, stop this Muhammadun Rasulullah and we be unified with everything. This has nothing to do with unification, this has to do we are the people of Muhammadun Rasulullah is the door for us to Allah Allah is a hidden treasure wanting to be known and will be known through Muhammadun Rasulullah They say the deception of death for only Allah who come back and to teach because in their seclusions they went to seclusion. And they were taught in the seclusions that this state of marg and death, what shaitan comes to do to you? One of the deceptions of death is it comes in to a Muslim and says, your life was wrong. I want you to denounce what you believe and accept Jesus as your Lord and Saviour. And if you don't listen to me, I'm going to make you to be thirsty. And immediately the pains of thirst 
and the torment of death, and this is on their breath, on their last seven breaths they're breathing. Shaitan is coming to them. You think shaitan left anyone alone? Throughout their life he came to them and the, the biggest door that he's going to come is in their last breath. Denounce what you believe. All my life I came after you to change your faith. Now I'll come to you in the form of a light and what you believe was wrong. Denounce this, say this. And it's not Sayyidina Isa it's a person that they're saying is, the, is God. Is God walking on earth? They made the image and idolatry of the Divinely Presence. So it becomes completely out of religious belief. And Allah's immense blessings, immense blessings when He guides you to tariqah, the shaykhs, they're all attorneys for the Divinely Presence. They represent you in the Divine Court of Allah and in their lives they're guiding and teaching, guiding and teaching to the soul and to the nafs. But more important is that their soul grabs your soul and begins to guide you in the world of light. And Mawlana Shaykh would describe many times, you don't really know who I am until you take your last breath, I'll be right there. Because you have counsel, you have attorneys, like a child who doesn't know who they are. But their father left them a huge inheritance. There are many attorneys running their estate. But the child, he's heedless on this earth. Until what, what happens? He ends up in court and all of a sudden there's a team of attorneys showing up. No, no, we represent that one. And Mawlana Shaykh would describe that, you don't know who I am. Some may, if they can connect their heart and have any sense of spirituality, they may get a door into that reality. Their real position, their real reality is death and your transition into the heavens. In which it described that anyone who saw my face and was with us or even saw my face, so he would see, propagate my face everywhere. I will appear on their last breath as they're breathing and in the pains and sufferings of death the soul will be asked, have you seen a Muhammadan? And immediately only Allah will appear and say, oh questioning is to stop. And as soon as awliya appear, shaitan runs. This is the purpose and the reality of guidance. Allah knows that shaitan is continuously after you. Do you think he didn't rig the game in our favour? He wanted you to come on the earth and then to be deceived by shaitan and then thrown into to difficulties? He said, no I gave to you rahmah and Mawlana Shaykh would teach whomever leaves the presence of awliya have left the rahmah and mercy of Allah It was a kindness from Allah It was a gift from Allah That as soon as you accompany them, their presence, their ruhaniyat and all of them, one is as the whole, the micro is the same as the macro. When an authorized one is present as if all of them are present and all their lights are in attendance. Their associations are never alone. Their associations are right above our association in the world of lights. And as soon as that one is in the pains of difficulty of death, immediately awliyaullah appear and shaitan has to run. Why? Because don't say anything to lose your faith. You've been guided and guarded all this life of yours. Whom Allah guides is guided. Whom Allah doesn't guide will never reach guidance. So guidance started when? It started when you were conceived, when Allah wrote your destiny. You think guidance came because you were clever here? I was just walking by, I found here, so it's very nice lights, it's very nice uh, fragrance coming from the door. Then we're giving and attributing to our cleverness. Laila anta subhanika inni kuntum mina dhalimeen. Verily, I, I'm nothing, glory be to Allah and I'm an oppressor to myself. I know that I have nothing and I know nothing. And Allah, you better believe it. 
And it's my love for you that's calling you towards this because I have anciently written for you to be guided. You were guided in the world of light and you're guided in this world and in this physical dunya. And the reality of that guidance is you've been continuously pushed towards right. Shahidan, Mubashiran wa Nadiran. Allah describes the reality of Prophet Shahidan. That he's witness to his nation, Mubashiran. That he continuously sends glad tidings and lights and blessings to his nation. Wa Nadiran, that don't do, don't do bad. And those whom Allah granted a special love and a special favour, He granted them guidance in which I have written for you anciently that you're going to be under the nazar of Prophet That's what we told in the other surahs in Surat Al-Kahf. When Allah was describing the people of the cave and who are they? The people who make zikr and ask for tawbah and Allah gave an order to Prophet don't let your eyes pass these Ashab al-Kaf for the people of dunya. Means the nazar of Prophet by command of Allah is towards the people of caves, the people of the cave, the people whom retreat within themselves asking to be cleaned, asking God's forgiveness that they're continuously struggling to purify themselves. The command of the holy sight and eyes and the soul of Prophet by Qur'an al-Majeed is that gaze upon them at all times, the nazar and that's what shahidan is. When the nazar of Prophet is on those whom Allah has favoured, granted them guidance that these are the people who remember me and I remember them. This is my just, Allah's just said, they remember me. I've written for them that they are the people of dhikr and don't follow the people whom Allah forg- who made to, shaitan made them to forget the remembrance of Allah So it means that when you're a person whom remembering Allah dhikr and praising Allah is remembering you. And as a result the nazar of Prophet begins to spiritually continuously guide those souls, guide them to goodness, to righteousness, to blessings and light. So what is deceit going to do? Deceit is going to try to cut you from Muhammadun Rasulullah If you don't understand it and you think somebody's coming dressed like a clown with horns you already lost. <clears throat> Coming in a nice image, nice and beautiful words. But the only key is going to take is Muhammadun Rasulullah and cast upon humanity difficulties. And this and all the teachings of only Allah is that our key to safety and our key to divine grace and our key to Divinely powers and Divinely oceans of Rahmah and Qudra is Muhammadun Rasulullah That's why they teach the haqqaiqs that the reality of La ilaha illallah can only be found in the ocean and the reality and the soul of Muhammadun Rasulullah all of this creation of light, where is it? You think this light is all in the light of Allah? So we're all partners and we go somewhere and Allah breathes, we breathe, Allah even breathes, Allah has a light and we're all in that light, that becomes shariq and partnership. The Creator is not for us to understand. The Creator is not in His creation, the Creator is the power of this creation. So when the Sahabi asked Prophet what should we contemplate? Should we contemplate Allah? Say, no, no, don't ever contemplate Allah Take you out of belief that you contemplate creation because that's your place is creation. 
Then they come and teach, well, what's the best of creation? Why do some people want to meditate next to a tree or look at an ocean? Because these are all the beatific glorifications of Allah What's the most beatific glorification of Allah's creation? It's called Muhammadun Rasulullah the universal soul, the light in which all lights were made. That we're all in that light of Muhammadun Rasulullah everything of creation. From beginning of time to end of time, from infinite universes that are infinitely expanding. And La ilaha illallah is exactly what it means. That in La ilaha illallah there is nothing but Allah not you and not me are in there. So that's why Allah gave us a computer. Because it's like a, like a human has a, has a guts and a head. Does the computer think that you're inside there because you plugged him in? Yeah, no John you must be in here. He says, no I'm not in there. As a matter of fact I can unplug you because I'm tired of hearing you. That which God creates He is not in it. Nothing can contain Allah Nothing can hold Allah That's anthropomorphism. When they give a form and a direction to Allah But they say, oh he sits on a chair, what chair? The chair has got to be stronger than the Divine, the Presence? What space can contain Allah Nothing. So Allah came, made it easy, don't go there. La ilaha illallah, not for you. He's a power and you'll never be one with that power. So then go to the greatest of creation, the most perfected of creation, the most beatific of creation and it's called the light. That nur is called Muhammadun Rasulullah and Allah I'm a hidden treasure, hidden treasure, wanting to be known, not that I will be known, a wanting to be known and how Allah going to be known? is by Muhammadun Rasulullah That's why when you read Qur'an you're astonished. Astonished at what Allah is putting within Holy Qur'an and His Divinely speech and giving continuous hints of dive, dive deeper into your reading. First time you read Qur'an it's about you and Allah because you want to know yourself, you want to find yourself, no problem you're building your love for the Divine, the Presence. But the reality of Qur'an is not about you and Allah because you are supposed to not exist. La ila anta subhanika inni kuntum min al-dhalimeen. The glory be to you and I'm a dhalim. Why I want to know about myself? Then Qur'an becomes a qissa story, an amazing revelation for Sayyidina Muhammad From the crown of it which is what the first? Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. What is Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem? It's a crown. All the way to Qul A'udhu bi Rabbin Nas. Rabbin Nas. Oh, Allah is giving a hint. Malikin Nas. Ilahin Nas. Ilahiya. That the kingdom of Allah in the world of light. Allah gave Nabi Ahmad an alif. Said, You're Hamd, here's my alif. Now you're Ahmad. That's divinely power. That power, that light, it has to be from Allah's qudra, dressing that reality. As a result, that power, that light is ilahi, is divinely. But it's not Allah, it's Allah's qudra. Same with awliya. When Allah said, come do your fard, do your mandatory worship, hadith al-Qudsi. Then come to me with love, I'll be your hearing, I'll be your seeing, I'll be your hands in which you touch, I'll be the feet in which you move, I'll be the tongue in which you speak. How is that? That's illahi because when Allah give you hearing there's no two. 
You're not, uh, uh, that's what the Hindus went wrong. They said, oh, we have God here, God for fruit, God for rain, God for clouds. So they made multiple out of one. No, there's just but one God. And if Allah give you a power, here's your power, here's your alif, this is the Hadith al-Qudsi, I'm going to be your seeing. Allah has to give you alif. And it's Allah's, not yours, you're not shariq. So Allah gives you alif, you see with Allah's seeing, not His eyes, but your seeing will take you even into your paradise reality because that faculty never leaves. He didn't say, I'd be your eyes in which you see, I'd be the seeing in which you see. Means I'm going to dress you from that attribute. I'll be the hearing, not the ears, the hearing in which you hear means I got another alif from Allah Now you're hearing means you see what no man can see. Nobody sees the same, no wali sees the same. Each awliyaullah feel that they've received uniquely from Allah the highest that Allah has to give because Allah's ma- compassion and mercy that He give to you a uniquely beautiful gift. Why? Because He gave them alif. You now can see with Allah seeing. They can see from dunya into the seven heavens, into the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad which is not in Medina, the presence within paradises. They can see beyond the station of Sayyidina Jibreel where Sayyidina Jibreel on Isra and Miraj said, I have to stop. Why he has to stop? Because at that point he no longer exists, he cannot take himself to non-existence. But wherever Prophet went, awliya can go if he dresses them. So means that if Allah give them hearing, means what? Allah gave an alif, now you hear with my hearing. It's Allah's and they attribute that to Allah, that's why they say, La ila anta subhanika inni kuntum min dalimin It's not me Ya Rabbi and they should know it's not me but it's you. And if you negate yourself, binary code, that you're nothing, layna anta. If you're nothing, the one comes. So only Allah compete in being point zero, point zero. And 124,000 awliya at all time on this earth. And Mawlana Shaykh said that I reached point zero, 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 zero. 224,000. I am the, the, zero of all of them. They're all better than me. They're all this, they're all that to show I'm humble. But if Allah give me the one, when He calls me into service, all their power is in me. Because the one is there now, Allah activated that one. So it means Allah just keep moving the decimal back and forth, means they don't have to show their power on this earth. They became nothing, 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 Allah dressed them, dressed them, dressed them until the sultan of them represents the power of all of them and that's why Shaykh Abdul Qadir Qaddasullahu Siri was saying that all awliya, when Allah turns my one on, I go from negative 124,000 to the, the, the nukht shifted. I become 124,000 awliya and all their qudra is under my foot means it's under my domain. This is the dress of Allah You give them alif, they hear. You give them alif, they see. You see what no man has seen. You give them alif, they breathe from the qudra and the power of Allah You give them an alif, and their feet move with the feet of Allah means what? Qadam Allah, Qadam Rasul or Qadam As-Siddiq and they become muqaddam, the people whom follow the path with their feet because Allah gave them that alif. Their feet move in a way that nobody can because people have fear and Allah's feet is, Allah's power is not on their feet. They see a path and run. These awliya, they see a path and run into it. If it's a fire, doesn't matter, Allah with them. Allah give their hands a power until Allah describes, so much alif has come to you, you're what? You're Rabbaniyoon. It's Hadith al-Qudsi, 
And what? You have power of kun fayakun. They make du'a and it manifests. Why? Because Allah is so much a part of them, they don't make du'a that Allah doesn't want. That was an old station. If you don't exist and all that exists is God's will within you, the love and the ishq and the will of Prophet they don't ever make a du'a that Allah not pushing into their heart that, no make this du'a. As a result, Allah pushed into their heart to make the du'a. So of course they make the du'a and manifest. They don't live a life separate than that reality. So means all of that is the key. All of that is from Muhammadun Rasulullah So now what deception wants to come and take that key away. For without that love and that ishq of Muhammadun Rasulullah all that inheritance that we're describing is lost, is, is completely taken away. So they want to emasculate and take the power of Islam and the power of the connection to the Divine, the Presence, take it away. And how? By taking away the love and the ishq of Muhammadun Rasulullah Wallah is being known through that. Allah describes Prophet Khuluqul Azeem, you're of an immense character. What you brought onto this earth of humanities and laws and realities so that mankind could be taken from darkness and into the light. And now darkness wants to come back and take that light away and throw everybody back into darkness. So this deception that coming upon the earth is going to have a nice form, nice speech, all about the Divine. But what you won't hear and what you won't tolerate is the love of Muhammadun Rasulullah That's why these nat and these nat al-sharif from these awliya were warning us. What was the khuda nakuna? Once again? Why well, wasn't that their warning? Right? Because they say a time is coming, khudanakuna, that everyone around me is going to push. Just you say, Allah, stop all this Muhammadun Rasulullah the Mustafa, the chosen and beautific one. How these awliyaullah have people reciting these naat and these recitations as an insurance in their soul. That you recite, you recite, you recite for a day may come where somebody may say, stop it. And then that recitation takes its own life and tells you, don't stop it. You'll lose your key to Allah You'll lose the one whom shahidan over you, mubashiran and sending and praying upon you, nadiran the one whom guiding you from right and wrong. Sayyidina Siratul Mustaqeem the guidance of Allah through the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah We pray that Allah safeguard our faith and safeguard this love, safeguard this ishq and live a life in which to promote that love. Don't make it to be khafi, that's what shaitan is pushing you. Hide yourself, hide your Muhammadan reality, hide your beard, hide this posting about Muhammadun Rasulullah. Don't let shaitan start. If it starts, it will never end until you reach, God forbid, a point in which you've hid that reality and we lose from that reality. We pray that Allah safeguard the heart and safeguard this immense love that He's poured within our heart for Sayyidina Muhammad and his beloved Ahlul Bayt. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaam and his holy companions. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan. Thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah, if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans, 
We have now five bands, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.